Today I'm taking you thrifting in this big, vibrant city of mine, Dallas, Texas. I'm going to show you how to find high-end furniture on the cheap. Let's go. As I'm sure you know, Dallas is a huge city and I've got a lot of ground to cover. My plan for the day is to get downtown to beat the traffic to get in and out of there before rush hour starts. I want to make a stop over on the east side of town and then head north to hit up a thrift store closer to home. That should get me out of the city before rush hour. A big thank you to our video sponsor today, Huge Casino. Huge Casino is a free download app on iOS and Android. This game offers over 100 online fun casino games from the retro classics to modern slot machines inspired by real slots. Huge Casino is fun and full of colorful visuals and lots of enjoyable games to choose from. I really like the fact that you can play with your friends and compete in a billionaire league. Honestly, I've made a few friends on my own already over there and it's really entertaining to play against each other for the biggest jackpots of the day. This game is for entertainment only and does not offer any real gambling money or the opportunity to win money or real prizes. It truly is just non-stop fun. When I have a moment of downtime and just want to relax, I love that on top of slots I can play other games like poker, roulette, baccarat, and blackjack. With so many engaging game options, it always keeps me entertained. Be sure to click below and download from the link in my description and I may just see you there. Our first stop in Dallas is the Habitat for Humanity. There are a few of these that are really close together along with a few other thrift stores. We're going to try to get those in today. Immediately I was interested in the overflow of these rolling bags that had been returned with names or initials on them which I found really funny. Of course I searched for my own kids names in there. Then it was off to look at the furniture. This store only had about mm, 20 pieces all in all, but their prices were crazy high. I really loved this buffet hutch and thought about buying this and splitting it in two, but the price on this was out of this world. This piece was really great too. Definitely vintage, very old, awesome dovetail drawers. It was in great condition. Man, I would have loved, loved to have been able to take this piece home. But again, the price tag, there's no way. I'd never see a return on anything like this. Next, I was off to look at the rugs. I've been on a hunt for rugs for our house and all of these were on sale today for $49, quite a steal. We were off to the next Habitat for Humanity. It was close by to the first one that we visited. This one had a lot more furniture inside. There were a good amount of dressers and couches to choose from. The store is also having a half off sale on this day, which was great. This dresser here was in really good shape and originally marked for $300, so it would have been about $150 to take home. Not terrible. This buffet was nice. It was originally $100, so $50 to take home. This one was decent as well. This location also had a lot of office furniture, which really doesn't sell well for me in my area, but it was all interesting to look at. I really didn't find anything that I fell in love with at this store, so on to the next one. 
And since we are down in the Turtle Creek area, I kept seeing this new restaurant on Instagram that I couldn't wait to try, Mr. O1 Pizza. They're famous for these star-shaped pizzas that are filled in the corners with ricotta cheese. It was absolutely amazing. Five out of five stars, you guys. We opted for a little dessert with their Nutella and banana pizza, and I forgot to take a picture before we took our first bites. This place is a must try. Our last thrift store of the day was off the beaten path a little bit and a little hard to find, honestly. But as soon as we saw the furniture overflowing in the parking lot, we knew we found the right spot. Everything out in the driveway was on sale and the prices were pretty good to begin with. I was really hoping this would be the one when we went inside. It was really nicely arranged, although the majority of this store was just aisles and aisles of clothes, which I didn't get any footage of. They had some really great artwork and curated furniture pieces, and it was fun to look at, but as far as dressers go, there really wasn't anything here. It's definitely on my list to come back here and dig through all of their vintage clothes. This place was pretty cool. We decided to call it a day and head home to beat the Dallas traffic. The day wasn't a total wash. I did end up taking home some of those rugs for $45 each, and I did find a piece of luggage with some initials on it that would work. I got the rugs inside and staged in my house, and I'll show you at the end what I ended up doing with these guys. We ended up taking a trip out east the next day and this Habitat for Humanity was an absolute gold mine. I could tell right away by everything that they had outside. Behind those big armoires were a ton of end tables and coffee tables, all marked down to five and $10. I couldn't believe it. There was so many great options out here. I have been looking for a coffee table for my house for months and I finally found one that was gonna work. This store had a ton of mirrors all stacked up. All of these were $5 a piece and there were even more inside. Right away I saw a sign that said all the Wayfair was 25% off today and lo and behold this entire center section was full of Wayfair products that were on sale. Look at the amount of furniture that's in this store. I just couldn't believe it. I never find thrift stores this well stocked. I loved this little end table right off the bat. I knew I could fix the drawer, but for $189, ooh, I don't think so. Even with 25% off, it's really not that great of a deal. But I'm still encouraged because this entire store is filled with furniture. Chairs, chairs, and more chairs. This location had so many great options. I was just still in shock to find this much in a Habitat for Humanity store. I have never seen one this big and with so many options and great prices. Things were still a little on the high end, but I'm kind of used to that in this area. Thrift stores are actually not that inexpensive around here. I don't buy a lot of my pieces at thrift stores, but I haven't gone out to look at a lot that are not around me. So this was a really fun adventure to see what else was out there. I'm so glad I found this store. I'm definitely going back. These chairs here were really cool. They actually did have four of them and they were 25 a piece, no 35 a piece, which is still a really great deal. They were in great shape too.
There were two nice big rows of buffets. Buffets are always good sellers for me, especially if I can take the top hutch part off. I loved this 80s style one here, but that drawer was broken on the left hand side and I wasn't quite sure if I could fix it. This one here was super unique, but unfortunately it didn't have any of the glass with it anymore, but wow, that is beautiful and for $100. I'm always on the lookout for couches or chairs. They do sell really well in my area and I bought one of those really great Bissels that gives everything a deep clean. I don't normally show them on my YouTube channel, but really good couches and chairs, if you can find them, they'll usually sell. If you watch my channel often, you know I love a great piece of 80s or 90s furniture and this one was so fun. It was all taped together so I couldn't see what the drawers were like, which was a little discouraging. And for $150, it's a little high for something that's pretty much all laminate or MDF particle board. And the mirror that was attached to it is not sellable, so I decided to pass for now and come back maybe when it's on sale. More and more rugs at this location. Of course, I came home with three last time and then my son really wanted one. So I was digging through to see if I could find anything that would fit the theme of his bedroom. Look at that black and white one. That is so cool. And again, these were all marked down to $49 that day. I found these two little end tables kind of tucked into the back of the store. They didn't have a price tag on them, but I am definitely interested in those. This store had so many nooks and crannies that furniture was just shoved into. You had to look behind everything just to make sure you weren't going to miss anything. I loved this dresser. It was listed for $175. I'm going to hold off on that one for a little bit, but I may come back. And look at this super unique desk. I just shared some really fun facts about flipping headboards over on my Patreon page. And if you want all the inside scoop on how to make money doing that, come join me over there in that discussion. I'd love to have you. But Habitat is well known for being stocked up on their headboards and bed frames. This store was no exception. They had tons of great choices here. I loved this black wrought iron one. It was a king size and marked down to 50 bucks. That is so cool and on trend right now. There was an entire row of brand new hardware for projects. Unfortunately, it wasn't sorted very well. I cannot wait to come back here when I have the time to go through all of these and find four or five or six that actually match so I can use them together. But what a steal. All of these were marked down to about 50 cents to a dollar a piece. When I rounded the corner from looking at all the hardware, I just couldn't believe my eyes. I have been on the lookout for one of these orb chandeliers since I moved into our house three years ago. Normally the ones that I like are around $600 all the way up to $3,000 I've priced them out and I could not believe the price tag on this one, $115. You know I had to take this one home. My car is fully loaded from my thrifting adventures today. I'm going home to unload and back on the road we go for one last stop.
Our final store for the day was Picker's Paradise. It's this cute little thrift store located off the beaten path a bit, and it was nestled back in this quaint little community that still had some of the original vintage and antique shops and mom and pop cafes lining the streets. It had a sweet little old town feel to it. Once we went inside, I fell in love with all the sweet vintage knickknacks. This truly was a picker's paradise. Their prices were pretty spot on too. I loved looking in every nook and cranny of the store. There was always something to find. Look at this really cool, unique carved chess set that we found for only $10. The store just kept going and going into this back section here, which was a whole wall of mugs, which were pretty cool to look at, all types of styles and designs. And then just a lot of stuff to pick through, but as you can see, no furniture. We made a yummy stop for dinner before we headed home. This is one of our favorite restaurants around our area. Their dumplings cannot be beat. Let me show you some of my treasures that I got on my thrifting adventure into Dallas. My most favorite thing, of course, is my brand new chandelier for my dining area. I've been on the hunt for one of these for three years, so I was so thrilled that I found one. Next, my daughter got one of those huge rugs for her bedroom for 49 bucks. It offers a great space for her to sit down on the floor and be comfortable and do her arts and crafts. I also picked up one of these rugs for our rooms. This one was from the Joanna Gaines Magnolia collection, so I paid a little bit more for it since it was a name brand. Still, it was $100, and again, I've been on the look for one of these, but they're about six to $700 for the size that I need, for, so for $100, this was a steal. I managed to snag one more light fixture for my kitchen, and this was on sale for 39 bucks. I hope you enjoyed the trip down to Dallas to see what our thrift stores look like. Thanks again to Huge Casino for sponsoring this video and be sure to download the game link in the description below. Join me next time where I'll be flipping my favorite 80s furniture and creating a hot new piece for 2023. You will not believe what this turns into. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you soon on Lemons to Lemonade Furniture.